it going geeks? Welcome back to Persona 5 Royale. Last time we did some confidant shenanigans, including getting our boy Yusuke Kitagawa to rank 10, giving him his Persona Second Awakening, giving him Kamu Susanoo, which, oh my god, I can't wait to use. <laughs> The reason why I'm in Untouchable right now is I need to prepare for what we're doing today, which is taking on Sai Nijima. So, let's cut the crap and get into it. Uh, ah, Kurzukun. Good morning. Good morning. I know this is last minute, but if it's possible, could you come and see me during lunch today? Oh my god, he's voiced. Is this what I think it is? Uh, yeah, I'm free for lunch. I'll hang out with you, Shrink. Glad to hear it. I wanted to discuss something with you, since it'll be our last chance to do so here. Uh, oh, right. You're leaving today. Yes, my time here at Shujin is coming to an end today. It's quite the sad affair. I do have a farewell speech to give the school at morning assembly, but I'd also like to speak with you individually. Considering the occasion, lunch is on me. I'll have something special waiting for you. So you look forward to that. Alright. Well, I'll see you later. Yeah. See ya, Shrink. Damn. I completely forgot. Dr. Mark, he's really leaving. It's already been half a year, huh? That sure went by fast. Sure did. And finally, we would like Dr. Maraki to share a few last words with the student body. Well, Doctor, if you will. <clears throat> Good morning, everyone. As the Vice Principal has mentioned, today marks the end of my tenure at Shujin Academy. Over the past several months, I have come to learn about all sorts of conflicts that you students have faced this year. Troubles with romance, with studies, some of you have financial issues that are awfully similar to my own. <laughs> but before I leave here, I want to offer you a final piece of counseling. If your situation ever becomes too painful to endure, remember, it's okay for you to escape your problem. I don't want a single one of you to think that an unfair reality you've been forced into is the only one that you have to live. It's okay. Uh, what I'm trying to say is, even if your life is full of worries, it's best for you not to obsess over them. Your existence in this world is an amazing miracle. You deserve to spend your days in happiness. I'll keep on rooting for all of you to have the best lives possible, even after I'm long gone. Oh. <laughs> to thank him personally, but it may be best to hold off on that for a bit. Yeah, he's clearly being swarmed. Mm -hmm. I doubt we could get a word in edgewise anyhow. <sighs> thank you for coming here. No, thank you for... Oh, goodness gracious, do I even have to say it? Since this is about to be my last meal at Shujin, I've brought the best lunch ever. These tempura bowls are from a restaurant I've been curious about since I first came to the school. I'd always passed on it due to the price, but today is special. Not only that, I ordered the deluxe bowls for us. Wow. Thank you, Shrink. I should be the one thanking you. All right, let's eat. <laughs> Will do. No need to tell me twice. <laughs> there are no words for how delicious this smells. Ooh, this aroma's really triggered my appetite. Uh... Too bad I can't see anything now. <laughs> you look like an anime villain. <laughs> oh, crap. Such is the life of a four-eyes. 
I'm so glad I splurged on that. Upscale dishes like that really do taste incredible. Oh, God, it was so good. I wish I could just get lost in this bliss forever. Well, now that we've finished our food, let's get down to business. First off, I have quite big news. My paper's done. Oh, my God. You did it! I've mentioned this before, but still, this is truly thanks to you. Had you not shared your experience and insights with me, this paper never would have been completed. Please, allow me to express my gratitude to you once more as a most helpful student of Shujin. Oh, Shrink, you don't gotta do that to me. And as a phantom thief as well. Uh, what do you mean? Huh. So you're not denying it. Why don't you take a look at the title of my paper over there? Uh, it says, Interpreting Reality Through Cognitive Science and the Alteration of Reality Via External Influence. You know, the Phantom Thieves' act of changing hearts is rather reminiscent of cognitive science in practice. They infiltrate a reality that exists solely for their target. A reality wholly separated from the one that the public recognizes. By accessing that world, they gain the means of permanently altering their target's cognition. That is what I hypothesize as being the change of heart you induce in your targets. Uh, uh. Should I take your silence to mean I'm correct? To be entirely honest, it was all the way back in April. When I first came to speak with the principal here about providing counseling to you students, I actually witnessed the moment when you came out of an individual's reality, like I'd mentioned. Uh. You suddenly appeared in the back alley near the school. I believe Sakamoto-kun and Takamaki-san were with you. Oh my god. Takamaki-san appeared to be extremely exhausted. That was when she... F <laughs> Thanks. It wasn't long after that scene that Mr. Kamoshida had his change of heart. Beyond what I witnessed, I had also been told that you three were closely affiliated with Mr. Kamoshida in some way. At that point, I was already half convinced that you were involved. I was almost certain Mr. Kamoshida's change of heart was provoked by the three of you. Uh, uh, what's your game here, man? Hmm. Well... I've been researching cognitive science ever since I was a grad student. For years, I've been attempting to directly interact with an individual's cognition so I can help address their pain and despair. But, for certain reasons, this research has never been acknowledged in academia. Despite that, I continually pursued evidence that my hypothesis is correct. It was during that time I happened to come across the Phantom Thieves of Hearts fresh from a mission. My heart began to dance. I thought to myself, maybe I could complete my research if I were to have your assistance. That's why I approached you and your group of friends in the first place. I hadn't mentioned any of this until now because, well, I didn't want you to take it the wrong way and suspect my motives. But I think that's everything I kept from you. Does that change your opinion of me? Question. Are you gonna rat on us? Why would I do that? I like to think of myself as someone who wouldn't sell out a person to whom I owe so much. If you don't believe what I'm saying, you're free to change my heart as you like. No! Thanks to you, I finally know what I need to do. I'm going to stand up to our current reality. I swear, I'll use my research to make our world a better place. Though, it'll likely be through different means than how the Phantom Thieves reform members of society. Uh, huh. I'll try and do my best on my end, I guess. Indeed. You have a strong moral compass, never losing sight of your own definition of justice. I'm more grateful than ever to have met a young man like yourself. Although it's not like this is the last time we'll see one another, still, 
Thank you for everything up to this point. I have to say my thanks as well, Doc. I am thou, thou, thou art, art I. I. Thou, thou hast turned a vow into a blood oath. oath. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened the ultimate secret of the Counselor, granting thee infinite power. Um, this is making me very uncomfortable. He knew from the very beginning. That was back when On first awakened to her persona. Oh lord. Suddenly, I'm not liking this so much. I'm actually kind of scared. Two down and three. No, wait. Two down, one to go. The only one I have yet to get to rank ten is a catchy. And trust me, I will get. Getting rank 10 with Dr. Maruki gives you wakefulness. All it does is increase the amount of SP you recover from mindfulness. Not inherently great, but it's something. All right. Of course, that's not all we get. All right. We get access to Volhu Mana, the most powerful persona of the Counselor Arcana. I am going to follow the path that I believe in. I sincerely hope that one day, at the end of that path, I'll be able to aid you as well. Even if you just considered it to be meddling in your affairs. <laughs> Whoops. Looks like we're out of time. That we are. We'll meet again, though, right? <laughs> Definitely. That's right. Hey. Uh, Kruzukun. No, it's nothing. Best of luck to the both of us. See you around. Yeah. See you, Shrek. The fan site's on fire as usual. Anyways, tomorrow's finally it. I hope everyone remembers. The date of our plan? Of course we remember. That means we're sending out the calling card today, right? Yes, today is our only option. The police have yet to actually make a move, but I am certain we have reached our limits. We wanted to wait as long as possible to make Makoto's sister panic, right? Yes, taking that into account, today would be the best option. We can speak in more detail about this after school. Alright, see y'all at LeBlanc! Oh boy, here we are. <laughs> Boss said he reserved the place just for us. We're free to drink as much coffee as we want. We don't want to crash, but a cup of joe ain't too bad right now. Ain't this place always empty, though? That's rude, man. You're right. Let's just call it a hidden gem. Um, we're supposed to be discussing where we should send the calling card. 
Considering how big the hype's gotten, she'll probably just think it's a prank, won't she? I could always put it on Saison's desk. The people know me there, so I could gain access easily. That's not a good idea. If you're the only one who can get in there, it'll be easily traced back to you. And if it gets traced back to you, it'll get traced back to us. I'll do it. I can just tell her it came for her in the mail. That would be the least risky method. But... No matter what she asks, I'll tell her I don't know anything. But Makoto, that's... That's your own sister. You're our leader, so this will be up to you. Should we leave the calling card to Makoto? I see it as the only way, as much as I hate it. We're asking too much for Makoto, though. I'll be okay. I've already traversed far more dangerous ground than this. Yeah, but this is kind of different. When we were dealing with... Never mind. We will leave it to you, then. Thank you for agreeing to this. I will need to step up my game as well to make up for it. Very well, then. We'll enter from in front of the courthouse. Does six o'clock in the evening work for everyone? Yup. Got it. Same as always. Well, then, let's get ready for tomorrow. Dismissed. For our last job. What the hell's going on? I can't hear anything. Okay. Tomorrow's finally the day. All that's left too is all that's left is to carry out the operation that Makoto outlined earlier. Anyway. Now we just need to hand it over. As long as we can get to Nijima. Madame Sae Nijima, a great sinner of jealousy. You have lost yourself amidst your obsession with success. For its sake, you are even willing to promote injustice as justice. From the Phantom Thieves. I found it in our mailbox. To think they would send me one. They brand me a criminal and plan to change my heart? What nonsense! They only care about disposing of those who are an inconvenience for them! Fine. I'll just have to catch them first. And when you do, you're going to interrogate them, right? In some kind of underground room, was it? Why do you ask? Uh, oh, I just remembered you mentioning something like that before. That's right. It will be in a special interrogation room underground. My time will be limited, but I will do whatever it takes to make them divulge their secrets. Let's do this fair and square. Oh, please. This isn't fair. But her sights are on us now. I should probably be getting back. It's late, but I should contact the director and let him know about this calling card. I expect things will calm down a little once this case is over. Once that happens, why don't we go on a trip to some hot springs? Just the two of us. Sis. <laughs> I'm on your side. I won't let anyone do anything to you. <laughs> <laughs> what an odd girl. Do you need to make a call? I'll head up to my room then. I'm sorry for calling so late. This is Nijima. There's something I need to inform you of. I received a calling card from the Phantom Thieves. It was addressed to me directly and... Stand by? And you've transferred command of the investigation to someone else? No, of course not. Yes. I understand. I'll remain on standby until further instructions. Please excuse me. Okay. Sorry for the wait. I believe it went well. Thanks, Maka-chan. It's, it's all going to according to plan, then. So, it has finally come to this. I actually feel somewhat nervous. Don't freak out so much that you screw up, alright? You're one to talk. I ask that you go easy on me. Well then, see you tomorrow. Uh, hold on a sec! Crow, go over the operation again before you leave. It is 
is just as we discussed earlier, is it not? This battle will decide our future. We must ensure we're fully prepared beforehand. Very well. Our objective is sealing Saison's treasure. We will meet at the courthouse approximately at 6 p.m. Good! Want to give us one last word before we go, leader? Let's be careful, guys. We'll be relying on you. It's a wonderful, trusting relationship. I will do my best in this as well. All right. We can't afford any mistakes, especially not this time. Tomorrow's a big day for us, so let's give it our all. I was expecting to enter the palace today, but this is actually way better. <laughs> Next time on Persona 5 Royale, we take Sai Nijima's treasure and end this little story. See you guys then.